Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to U.S. Bank Stadium. Mike Wildshaw, voice of the Vikings, Paul Allen. It is the Between the Lions postgame report brought to you by Gatorade. A victorious one today for the Minnesota Vikings. 23-10 to over the Green Bay Packers. A game that had a lot of drama, turnovers and penalties in the first half. Some Vikings scoring in the second half. But throughout the game, PA, Vikings defense rules the day, and it gets us to 4-2 and two in first place in the NFC North. Yeah, no doubt. Um, I feel weird today. I mean, I got some trash talk to me, but you know what? When when Aaron Rodgers goes down with a broken collarbone, I just I, I, I feel terrible for those who really enjoy the NFL uh, because he truly is one of the most enjoyable players in the NFL to watch. I'm the Vikings announcer. I'm a big-time football fan. Anytime the Vikings aren't playing and Green Bay is playing, I definitely make it a point to watch it, and a lot of that has to do with Aaron Rodgers. So, yeah, Vikings won 23-10, to 10, first place operation in the NFC North, but um, I do feel bad for Aaron Rodgers and Green Bay. That sucks. Green Bay very banged up coming into this game and then during the game and stuck with the Vikings up until halftime. Yeah. It, it, this was a, as you would say, a spine tingler throughout the game, really, but why do you think the Vikings were able to pull away in the second half? Well, these division games are meat grinders, man. I mean, I've seen good Green Bay teams go to Soldier Field and um, and and win tightly contested games. Vikings just won a tightly contested game at Soldier Field against a Bears team that's not going to the playoffs and started a rookie quarterback. These division games are very tightly contested. And, you know, I think just as the game went on, situations with Green Bay's offense, I mean, seriously, down left tackle David Bakhti down left guard Lane Taylor, down right tackle Brian Bulaga with Brett Hundley. I mean, that's that's the answer right there. I mm -hmm. mean, I credit the Vikings defense. It played beautifully the entire day. Harry the Hitman uh, is approaching a sacks record uh, where I think he's a half sack away from Joey Browner for the most by a DB in the history of the team. But uh, the Vikings defense is just too tough for that situation, you know? I want to bring up a few names before we wrap this thing up of guys who stood out to me. You already mentioned Harrison Smith. Well, I mean, some guys making plays behind us yeah, right I know, now. Yeah, they're Holy excited cow. too. I, I mean, the way Harrison Smith is playing <laughs> right now, like, does yeah. he? Oh, I don't think he ever has a bad play. That's a great point. You know, somebody said earlier, um, you know, Harrison Smith is back, and I'm like, well, where did he go? I yeah. mean, he didn't have an interception last year, but. You know, football is a tricky game where you really need to wait till the game is over to properly break it down and analyze exactly how well or poorly somebody played. You got to watch it back. Yep. And you got to watch it back really from the coach's film uh, because, like Linval Joseph, I mean, Linval, I think, had a half sack today. So people will look at the box score and be like, where was Linval? Yeah. Well, he was occupying four hands every single play, opening it up for other guys to do their thing. Likewise for Harrison Smith. Now, Harrison has a couple of picks, but Harrison Smith is so technically sound oh. and so good at what he does. Every down. When he doesn't show up in the box score, it doesn't mean he's not having a great season. He um, arguably is the best safety in the NFL. I believe it was 14 quarterback hits on the day. That's unofficial. Ooh, Brian Robinson had four of them. Yeah. Had a tip pass, at yeah. least one tip pass. B-Rob yeah. had you a really what? nice game. That uh, that that might have been my favorite story of the game because uh, I'm an equity guy. And B-Rob was playing in his 22nd border battle today. You know, to be able to stand the test of time the way he has and show up big in the newest, biggest game of the season, man, bless you, Brian Robinson. Great job. The sack daddy was the sack daddy once again. Six consecutive games with a sack to start the season for Everson Griffin. Wow. Leading a very fierce pass rush. Yeah. And we'd be remiss not to mention a couple of guys on offense. Case Keenum did have an interception on a tip pass, yep. but was very solid command of the offense and Jarek McKinnon 99 total yards mm -mm. from scrimmage and two touchdowns today yeah he's handling it beautifully in the second game without Dalvin Cook you know not not to go too hardcore football in between the lines but the entire offseason generated this running game to be as much an east-west production as it is north-south that's how Jarek plays before we leave I'd be remiss or we'd be remiss to not credit punter Ryan Quigley yeah I mean seriously Quigley is doing everything perfectly three punts today inside the 20. He had a punt that looked like it came off the right side of his foot, but by design, it went out of bounds at the four yard line. Yeah. So Ryan Quigley's new to the team. I know nobody talks about the punter until he messes up. Seriously, Ryan Quigley, you're my main man. We put a cue around the game today.
Kai Forbath, three for three on field goals, perfect on extra points, helped this defense salt the game away at the end of the fourth quarter. All right, so the Vikings are 4-2, and two, and they're in first place in the NFC North because yeah. we just beat the Packers, so we have the tiebreaker over them, and the Detroit Lions lost, I believe, at New Orleans today. At least they were losing on our way down here. So we're 4-2, and two, first place in the NFC North, and we're right here oh. next week against the Baltimore Ravens, another home game hey, for us. Think about all that. I mean, Sam Bradford has not played a majority of the season. No Stephon Diggs today. Replacement at left guard. No Andrew Sandejo today. It was kind of a key to that secondary from getting everything squared away. And here we are, 4-2 and two in first place. What a great job by this coaching staff and these players of the Minnesota Vikings. Well done. A lot of football to be played, and it begins again next Sunday. Kickoff is at noon, Vikings and Ravens. PA will have the call. Victory high five. My ma'am. Congrats, everyone. You're in first place. Lots more stuff to come right here on Vikings.com, so stay tuned for more.